This is your KCTV 5 News Update. There were over 2,700 new COVID-19 cases reported in Missouri just yesterday, and vaccination rates are still low. However, hospitalizations are on the rise, including for children. Nearly a dozen kids are at Children's Mercy being treated for COVID-19. Dr. Angela Meyer says a lot of them are teenagers. She also says some have underlying health conditions, while others are healthy. According to President Joe Biden, he expects the FDA to grant an emergency use authorization for children under 12 to get the vaccine. One parent says she can't wait to have her sons protected from the virus. Right now, the seven day average of new hospitalizations is back up to 92. Now, that's the highest it's been since the beginning of March. It got all the way down to 37 in early June. Over the last six weeks, numbers have almost tripled. In May and June, I was like, okay, this feels like maybe we are getting back to a sense of normalcy. And then July this month, we're like, oh, this, this feels way too familiar and not in a good way. We got an exclusive look inside the ICU at St. Luke's Hospital on the plaza. Some of the people needing treatment are in their 30s. Most of the ICU patients are on ventilators and other machines to keep their heart and lungs working. Local doctors say it's still possible to get sick with COVID even after getting the shot, but say your chances are you won't end up in the hospital. No one wants to be my patient with severe coronavirus. My patients have a tube in their mouth, large IVs in their neck, large IVs in their arm. They are deeply sedated. They are sometimes paralyzed. They are sometimes put onto their stomach, we call that proning, to help with lungs that have completely failed. Some of our patients need to stay in a coma for weeks, if not months. Nursing homes have been some of the hardest hit facilities during this pandemic, yet many staff members still aren't getting the vaccine. According to an AARP poll, 53.6% of Kansas nursing staff home is fully vaccinated. In Missouri, that number is just 43.2% but a lot of the patients are vaccinated. Both states have vaccinated more than 75% of nursing home residents. KCTV5 is your school authority. Parents, you know it's never a good feeling when you get that call that your child is in the nurse's office. But did you know those headaches and stomach aches may not be caused by a bug? It may actually be anxiety. 7% of all school-aged kids are diagnosed with anxiety, and those numbers will likely get worse with the pandemic impacting kids' mental health. In some schools, nurses are rolling out a program to help. We rolled out what we call CHILL, which is connected, healthy, and learning. Um, so we chose the alternative strategies of deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, and guided imagery because the cognitive behavioral therapy was much more intimate and would have required parents sign off. But breathing and using your imagination and tensing your muscles, we do it all the time. We do it naturally. Students can practice deep breathing by pretending to blow out candles or inflating a balloon. Experts say anxiety could be a problem for many kids this fall as they begin going to school in person full time after a year of online learning. Good Thursday afternoon to you, Kansas City. We are heating up very quickly out there, moving into the second half of the day, and we're going to continue to see those temperatures, the hottest that they've been so far this week, topping out near 92 degrees as we're heading towards this afternoon. Now, the humidity will certainly be sticky, but we'll go from feeling humid, a bit humid, to feeling more uncomfortable with rising humidity and higher heat index readings Friday and Saturday. We will be watching these conditions closely by the weekend. The heat index here in Kansas City will likely be close to 106 and the National Weather Service posting an excessive heat watch that will begin tomorrow lasting into next week and that heat index reading could be near 105 for some of us for your outdoor weekend plans. Here's the newest update of your Security Bank 7 day forecast. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.